Live here, we're going to break down the MSB semi-final matchups that just came, went down. Two great uh, matchups and a gorgeous venue. Really gorgeous. And But before we do, I actually want to bring on A.B. Saka. This the, Thursday. Yeah, July 4th. God uh, bless A.B. Saka. A.B. Saka, obviously the one that spearheaded the entire July 4th tournament for CARE. A.B., why don't you give a few words about CARE? So, uh, about what they do? What they do and also about the tournament. Okay, so CARE, what they do is they help... Uh, Children, also families with special needs children. So basically what that means is if you, God forbid you're in a situation, you have a special needs child, they actually help the parents and they help the siblings of, of the child and they also help you navigate how to take, how to take of advantage of the government and getting funds. Right. And so it's all-encompassing all for special children, for their families and, and everything it's involved. An, it's an organization that uh, hopefully people don't need to know about, but if they do, at least they know and we're, we're helping to bring awareness that people know where to turn when they're in the situation. So we took a vision, AB took a vision and made it a reality. This Thursday, we have a lot of fun in store. July a 4th. big tournament, July 4th. July 4th. From what so I hear, the, the draft is tonight. The right, draft so is tonight. Yeah. Yeah. you yeah. find out what team you're on tonight. And that day is a day. The reason I wanted AB to come on, it's a day for not just players. We want families to all there's gonna be, be there. There's going to be an open breakfast for everybody. We have a marketplace in the morning for the women to come get things for Shabbat. Um, then we have barbecue. a free barbecue, completely free. We have Dwight Gooden from the Mets and the Yankees. That's right, Doc. Uh, coming Yankee, Yankees champion. At around 2 o'clock, he's coming. He's going to be signing autographs. And then we have... They're going to line up to get right. also has um, Care also has um, a couple of inflatable water slides that they're oh, bringing. Oh, really? nice. I'm going to go on so that. So that, uh, and again, it's completely free of charge. People. The only thing that costs money is the players playing. And Dwight Gooden, we're still But by the out, way, AB is saying it costs money. It goes straight to Stadka, and what you get, the package that you get that was sponsored, is second to none. You got a baseball bag, a towel, a hat, a jersey. What else you get? Socks, Socks um, uh, batting gloves. Batting gloves. It's I'm just, say, I played in my share of tournaments. I haven't been this excited for a tournament in maybe 10 years. Listen, the best of the and best are all in. The best of Brooklyn, best of Deal, best of Five Towns are all going to be everywhere. there. We have a nice uh, 96 players. Um, also, we have. The, uh, the Monument Park, which is uh, basically a display of, even though it's the other guys that are all in it, it's basically a display of Syrian softball history. Right. Beautiful. Um, so, so we're we going to have trophies, jerseys, pictures, it's videos. Spirit it's going to be, you're, you're going to be walking into a museum of Syrian softball, uh, obviously featuring YMSL, MNS, uh, MSB, used to be, uh, uh, used to be BKS, um, and obviously more. There's going to be everything and anyone. The legends are going to be there. It's going to be an unbelievable day. I'm really much looking forward to it. It's only in like three or four days. Uh, God bless. Thank you Thank very you much boys. for your help. And I'll Thank, you. With you, babe. Thank you for all the help with the Night League, with the with the Brooklyn League, making sure that we, we can get the schedule. Always, always, always. And, pleasure. Uh, this doesn't happen without both leagues. Obviously. You know, we're all, I'm we're all happy to help. And AB Tough we're losses pumped. today in... Uh, they knocked out in the playoffs. It's only softball. It ain't right. softball. Now he has something else to focus Anyway, on. back to MSB. We're going to talk about the semifinals. So uh, I want to go to the one that was not as interesting. Oh, the First of all, the snooze fest. The snooze fest. So we had, um, what was it, Diamonds? The team? number two seeded Mighty Ducks who are getting by with their bludgeoning offense all year long, um, powered by Yakov Surya's insane numbers, uh, followed by Jojo. Jojo and Melech and Joey Batesh and Weiss. Yakov Weiss. They had a stacked lineup from top to bottom, and it was very tough to get these guys out and that's why they flew into the semis number two seed they were on a, on a tear they, they, they looked like they had their eyes on the prize if to you get know what there. one thing could stop great hitting great pitching, that's great maybe. pitching but listen now, I have a question I want to ask I wasn't there I saw the fields last night to me the fields looked gorgeous they were magnificent and the rain if anything I think actually helped the it fields. softened the infield softened them out how the fields play defensively? The for fields everybody. play true both ways on all four games on both sides. So when you say the score was 15, so to I will five. tell you this: the way, if you want to hear my take, the Mighty Ducks were getting by on their offense, and they were masking a few shoddy defensive areas in their field. So on okay. a day where they don't score 10 to 12 runs, they're going to be magnified, and they're going to just going to keep on coming. So you so want to give the credit to Menachem Diamondstein? Diamondstein took advantage, but I will tell you, the Ducks' defense in the outfield was shoddy at times. Okay. Um, they did make a couple of big errors, and and they made it stand up. Obviously, Gutman 
Yankee Gutman, the kid had a three-run bomb today. He's the engine that actually drives that team. So this this 12 angry man looked like a, a team that does not have offense four weeks ago. Yeah. I saw them at that They were dead in the water. And now it's after a but crazy comeback. Give the kid credit. Week. Give the kid credit. Diamondstein last year went to the World Series. It was just him and Joe West. The rest of the team was not a great team. And this year, they're a little bit better of a team. Richie right. Ayala's on that team. They have a few good players. Gutman, as you mentioned. Sandy Berger had a really good game at oh, third right. base I today. I the bagel store today. Um, strong yeah, so no, he had a really good game. And their entire team came to play and they were all having each other's backs. Um, they were missing Moshe Danny. They were actually missing their center fielder today and they played four across. So, really? So And they, and they didn't get won. a sub for him. No sub. So you know what? There is nothing the Mighty Ducks could do except go to sleep at night and say, we no. flat out lost. They, they lost and they know they lost. They got they got blown out. I think the right. first score was 11-2 and game two was 15-5. It was more of the same all the way. Almost a mercy in game wow. two. Um, Diamondstein actually got up in the bottom of the sixth to, with a base hit would have been a mercy. He didn't, uh, do, he it. didn't do it. But they he ended up winning play. big. It was it, it okay. was what it was. So you know what? That was a whole hum. Diamondstein, second year in a row in the finals. You got to give the kid credit. He's unbelievable. He's, he's he, pitching. He is the ace pitcher, and, but. And you know what? I got to give D-Cat some credit. Missing his center fielder, playing four across. And I got to say, just seeing them somewhat, they got a nice vibe. No, they're fun. They got, they got chemistry they're going just, on. They don't get on each other at all. Right. They're so always that up. Mighty Ducks was a rah rah bunch, but it looks like when times were down, they oh, started kicking each other 100%. out. 100%. No, they weren't kicking on each other, but when times were down, they let it snowball. And that's not okay. the heart of a champion at right. the end of the day. So that's why they're not so, there. But again, they have championship players. Both Yusuris won last year, and Melech was a champion well, in the summer. There's winners. There's winners. But they just couldn't get it together with Doesn't the Doesn't always work. Doesn't always work. Anyway, let's get back to the exciting series now. Right now. Cobra Kai versus Old School. Uh, Steven Gindy, David Sabog, the way their team plays and plays well, we'll call old school baseball, is when they're low scoring games, when the defense is at a premium, and they come up with big hits and big times. So I guess what, he played his game. They played their game. They, uh, they suckered Cobra Kai into playing their game. Yeah, and you know what, I don't think Cobra Kai, Dan Braun was popping up Cobra Kai left and right. The guy doesn't look like he's an ace, but he mixes speeds. I think he's so underrated. The one everybody How could he be underrated? When I was there, there was some really good hitters behind me going, you know, I could have had five hits. I think, how many times am I going to hear people say, They're in the World I could have had five hits. The guy, if you could have had it, you would have had it. No, you couldn't have bottom it. Bottom line is the guy is in the World Series. He had the best ERA in the league, and he just pitched uh, uh, two one-run games or a two-run game. Against teams that have hit us. Against offensive teams. Right. You look at their team. Now, we know Natan, Bobby, Richter, right. Richter, Richter, right. They have teams. They got We hitters. know defense have to make plays but if you hit the ball hard enough enough times stuff's gonna happen Braun's not giving up hard contact constantly. But while we're talking about Braun he is such a good hitter they were walking guys to get to him like accidentally it wasn't an intentional walk right. he makes him pay every single time I'm gonna throw out a weird compliment Steve Deniff and Ralph Hannon I heard did a great great job. job I'm not gonna say it was great on the other field but okay. great but job umpiring great over there. job two contested games I'm happy we got the better crew over there yeah um, but you know what two great played games Cobra Kai they got far they're in the final four, and they were in two two-run games. So actually, nothing to sneeze at. Game one, I think, was f uh, three to one. No, uh, it was four to two. Final score. Okay. Close. Good game. Good game. Game two. Let's fast forward to the top of the seventh. Score was tied at one. Eddie Harari, by the way, in both games, the trend continues. All the runs he gave up in game one and in game two always come in the first inning. Wow. This past week in the night league, all the runs he gave up, first, first inning. inning. He gave up after a few after that. But so it's he first needs time to Wait, go find back. himself. Last week, the three-game series, hit the runs he gave up, David first, first inning, inning. In, in, in game one, and then he put wow. shutout. So he has an ERA in the first inning of, like, I don't know, too high. But after that, he settles down. I think Joanne Santana used to do that. Yeah, so yeah. it was one up in the seventh. And then Mark Barsano got up, and he had a bomb double. You'll see it on the highlights. He had a bomb double to put a runner in scoring position. And then big, big hit from David Paul Sutton. Wow. Line drive to right field to it's break. An unassuming player yeah, right there. Bottom of the order guy. Broke, right. broke the one up tie. And then another big hit. I forget who hit it after that. Uh, another low, bottom of the order guy to drive him in to make it three to one. And then they ended up going in the bottom of the seventh inning. Uh, Mark Richter led off with a single. They had a shift. He had it down the third base line. And the next three guys, one, two, three, ho hum. They went about their business, and it was old school baseball. And they out. are a World Series team if you ever saw one before. Love that you say old school baseball. Now, um, gotta give credit. I'm happy you said Eddie Harari. Pitch great. Two close games again. He's, he's a rising star. Yeah, he's only getting better and better. But now. The predictions. So we got the 12 angry men going to be playing against old school. So they're two very similar teams. Which is Because you have wild. two good defensive teams, two teams with just enough offense. Diamondstein's a smoking hot pitcher, but so is Dan Braun. I don't think you can get as evenly matched as you get. These are the, probably the two best offensive slash pitching teams we have in the hey, league. You know what? It's not an accident that they're there. No. Um, 
games are probably going to be next Sunday, 9 yeah, a.m. to be determined where. Um, what do you got? Okay, so I'm going game one old school by a score of three to one. Another old school game. And then I see game two, they're going to be in position to win, but Diamond seems going to be a little too much to handle, and we're going to be pushing to a game three. Once we get to game three, listen, all bets are off at that point. I'm going to be guessing, but I, again, I think it's going to be a little bit of a higher scoring game because either they're going to be coming off fresh and it's going to be a new get, new day, or they're going to play three in a day, which I doubt they're going to do. But okay. game three, I think it's going to be like a 6-4 type of game. It goes either way. Legit flip of the coin. Ticket pick. If I'm flipping my coin, I'm going Diamond's team to win this year wow. after losing last year. So I'm taking Diamond's team in a sweep. Wow! I think his pitching has been strong. Steven's team's offense is a little light. It's going to be a low score, but I think Diamond's team might outdo this amazing Braun. I want to tell you something. Yankee Gutman. He is so good. People don't realize how good he is. He's stellar defensively at short, but offensively, he's just so compact and he's strong. So strong. Steven Gindy and Gutman. I mean, that's a coin. Those are the two best short. shortstops in yeah, the league. No question. I mean, JoJo, Jojo, obviously, right but but this is this is a lot of fun. I can't wait to be there next week. Can't wait to watch next Sunday morning. Stay tuned to when. Looking forward. Uh, just hold on tight because this is what it's all about. This is it. This is what we play for, boys. Can't wait. Have a great week. Thursday care. Still care.